In this video, we start discussing about air compressors. Before we do that, let's have a look at what a compressor is. So a compressor is basically an energy consuming device. Okay, it consumes energy means it requires a prime mover to run a compressor. Okay, and we are dealing with air compressors over here which use uh, air as a working fluid. Okay, so you if you draw a schematic, so this can be a prime mover which can be a motor. Okay, so this is a prime mover. Coupled to this prime mover would be your air compressor. Okay, so you have air coming in over here, and you have air discharge from air. So it is consuming energy. So you have to uh, you know put work into the compressor to basically compress the air up to a high pressure. Okay. Now. Before we start talking dedicatedly about reciprocating air compressors, let's classify the compressors into its subcategories. Now, the broadly speaking, compressor can be divided into positive displacement and dynamic displacement. Okay, positive displacement can be further broken up into reciprocating and rotary, whereas dynamic can be broken into centrifugal and axial okay now reciprocating can be single acting or double acting and rotary has two further types root floor and vein type now in this video series we will start by focusing our attention on a reciprocating air compressor and then we will move on to a rotary air compressor okay now a very important difference between what is a positive displacement and what is a dynamic displacement type okay if you draw a very crude diagram of reciprocating air compressor so this is how the reciprocating compressor would look like okay so this is the piston this is the cylinder this is the cylinder now when air comes into this chamber okay the air is compressed by moving the piston vertically upwards so you are basically compressing the air against this fixed boundary so you are entrapping the air so the word is entrapment okay so when the working fluid is entrapped into a fixed or you can say a volume which is further compressed or you can or in, in very uh, simple language a positive displacement compressor is that compressor which traps the working fluid okay in uh, you can say a fixed region and then increases the pressure so the entrapment of the fluid in this chamber or in this volume will increase the pressure from P1 to P2 okay but if you talk about dynamic displacement if you talk about centrifugal in centrifugal or in dynamic displacement the entrapment of the fluid is not there okay so this is the so the pressure increase is majorly due to energy input so you provide energy to the uh, you can say uh, moving liquid or the moving air and then it goes out at a higher pressure now a very big difference because you are entrapping the leak uh, the fluid inside a volume and pushing against a fixed uh, you know uh, surface that is the cylinder head the pressure increase from p1 to p2 is very very high so in reciprocating compressors the pressure increases are very high high pressure rise okay but because your fluid comes in gets compressed pressure increases and then goes out after this again new batch comes in gets compressed goes out so the flow is intermittent the flow is not continuous so i would write down low flow values 
सो रेसिप्रोकेटिंग कंप्रेसर यूज वेर वी नीड हाई प्रेशर इंक्रीमेंट बट द फ्लो कैन बी केप्ट ऑन लो वैन ओके वेर एज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डायनामिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट और रोटरी काइंड ऑफ कंप्रेसर हेयर द प्रेशर राइज हेयर द प्रेशर राइज प्रेशर राइज इज लो बिकॉज यू नो ट्रैपिंग द फ्लूड इन सम यू नो कंस्टेंट सो द प्रेशर राइज इज लो बट द फ्लो इज हाई द फ्लो इज हाई You have continuous supply and continuous continuous exit of fluid through that dynamic displacement or rotary kind of air compressor. Okay. Now a little bit about single acting and double acting, and these are specifically sub types of reciprocating air compressor only. So if you look at this diagram once again, or let me draw another diagram. So this is the cylinder. okay and let me make the piston to be like this okay this is the piston so when you use just one side of the piston to increase the pressure of the working fluid that is let us say we are just you know sucking air into this region and discharging air from this region so we are using just this side of the piston to increase the area so this becomes single acting but on the other hand if i enclose this like this okay and i make a you know through hole and pass a rod through it now when it moves up it is using this space to compress the fluid okay and during that motion during that motion when it is discharging this side is sucking in the air so on one side of the piston you use it for discharging and on the other side you use it for suction now when it starts moving downwards it will start discharging from this side and it will start sucking from this side so where we use both these surfaces or both these sides of the piston to increase the pressure of a fluid that is called a double acting air compressor okay so i hope you understood this a uh, very brief introduction to the topic of air compressors and we have touched upon the uh, reciprocating air compressor and its subtypes now let's move ahead and start discussing in detail about the reciprocating air compressors but before that in the next video let's discuss about some important terms for reciprocating air compressors